Are you changing? Alright, let's do it. Alright, guys, we're going to do it. Okay, north side. Dom, keep down there for a sec. Doing technique, alright? Um, side control. You hear? A lot of time. Great. People used to defending it, they do the knee elbow escape, very common, getting their guard back or use the underhook. So something that people do, see the first person I saw doing it mainly was Marcelo Garcia, who's going from here to here. So just going kind of halfway towards north south. Makes it much harder for him to get his legs in because you're blocking his hip and if he does go for the underhook, it, it's going to be a bit slow, you can slow him down and you can attack him. So we're just going to start off in that position we can go from there. A few different things that you can do from it, so that's why it's good to do that position. A few attacks you can do from it would be, if we're in that position, we can get underneath his elbow, come around, I'll just do it on this side so you guys can see better. Underneath the elbow, wrist, Kimura grip, from there you have your Kimura behind the back, you have your leg over, arm bar, none of these are particularly difficult to do, it's just you pick whichever ones you want to do and work on them. If you have that grip, what I like to do as well is come inside the collar and just dropping down for a bread cutter choke here, keeping the weight behind his elbow so it's hard for him to turn in and just dropping straight down through the windpipe. Another one, if his head comes off the ground, better no gi, but still works in the gi. If his head comes up, just wrapping it and coming down for your north south choke, one handed or else joining the hands and going for it. Like I mentioned before, if he turns in with the underhook, you can slow him down. And as he comes, just let him keep coming. I think he can reach the leg. He can just about touch the leg. Catch the neck. Front headlock. You have your guillotine, arm in guillotine, or any other attacks you want to do from the front headlock as well. Also, from there, you can switch around to the back. And any other ones? We've got... Yeah, that, that'll do us for the start. One other one that I've been doing a little bit recently is from here, reaching back and taking the cross face, so I won't put too much weight on the shoulder. From there, handy to go up onto the mount, or if he turns in to face you, we can jump behind, take the back, coming around, bringing him up with you a little bit, and we're landing with the choke as well. So, a few options. There's other stuff you can do from down there, of course. Work on whichever of them you want, or if you want to do a few others, feel free. All right, on two, guys, one, two.